Hey Andrew, how's it going? What's up, man? My bestie Keith actually is not available right now, but I was wondering if you would be at all willing to come with me on a food adventure. So I'm just like your backup? Um, we're doing pizza. Okay. Sweet. Let's go. So where are we going? We're on our way right now to eat three different pizzas at three drastically different price points. And we're gonna find out which one is the most worth it at its price. What does the expensive one cost? $135. $135? Is it made of gold? Why do you need me to come with you? Because I need a partner in crime and you are the best friend today. Let me look up some dynamic duos and then we can decide which one we are. Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse. Who's who? Why can't we just be Steven and Andrew? Spaghetti and meatballs. Milk and cookies. I'll meet you inside. Beavis and Butthead. Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen. I think it's pretty obvious. What about the Three Musketeers? We are gonna serve for you today our basic pizza. It's our simple pie. Our simple pie is just tomato sauce, parmesan, and the whole milk mozzarella, as well as our green stripe. It's got basil pesto, mozzarella, all natural chicken, wild baby arugula, and roasted red bell peppers. How much is a simple pie? At this location, is five dollars and twenty-five cents. That's value right there. Or for seven ninety-five, you can get as many toppings as you like, as much of them as you like. It's pretty great. And here's the cool thing about it: just like any fine dining restaurant, all of our stuff's all natural. So, like, how many pies does this location make in a day? We've done over twelve hundred. That's a lot of pizza. <laughs> We're here. The first pizza restaurant. Not how I thought my day would go, but all right. Well, pizza's the size of your head, and it's five dollars. Can we cheers? It's really thin. with the pizza. Yeah. Like. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a great pizza. This pizza's called the simple pie. It's very simple, and I think that's how you should do things in life. Five dollars, you're getting the three things that make pizza pizza. You have good dough. You have good sauce. You have good cheese. This sauce is delicious. Have you had this sauce yet? I've been eating the pizza. All right, let's try the other pizza though. So we got the most expensive pizza here, and it's $7.95. Hey, oh, cheers. This one is very good. You demolished pizza. I know, this is something that you're gonna have to get used to. I have no self-control. You are a pizza monster. And you are a pizza plebeian. It's pretty good. Next place. That simple pie was great, but I would spend the extra $3 to get that pesto pizza. I think I would just get two simple pies instead. Pizza fast. No, <laughs> that's not how it works. I say the pizza fast. Pizza fact, I like pizza. Pizza fact, experts theorize that the price of pizza in New York City will always equal the price of a subway fare. So if you have a slice of pizza, you can trade that for a free ride. Oh, I've had too much pizza today. We've only been to one place. You want a Tootsie Pop? We're gonna make a brata pizza for you today. Brata cheese is basically a fresh mozzarella preparation. Very soft, rich, luxurious mozzarella cheese. First, we'll stretch the dough, and then we'll put a little bit of olive oil on the crust. We'll top it with our passato, which is our tomato sauce, and then layer the squash blossoms over the top. Spread it over the pizza, it goes in the oven. And how do you know when it's finished? One of the true tells is you turn it up on one end, and it'll stay like a board. And then it gets topped with the brata cheese, a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, sea salt, and black pepper. It sounds delicious. What makes your pizza different from other pizzas. We focus a lot on the crust. The toppings are important. We put a lot of attention to that, but people don't know that that's what makes the pizza so yeah. good. They just think it's the toppings, but it's actually the crust. Oh wow, that is so good. This pizza comes in quarters. I think that is awesome. These are all good slices. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. That's a perfect pizza. I'm calling it right now. We're not gonna get a better pizza than this. I just got into the crust. The way that really fresh popcorn tastes, you got like flavored air coming out of the crust. How are you not excited about this? Do you get what I'm talking Whoa. about? You know what's also interesting? The pepper. Yes. I love putting black pepper on stuff. I yeah. put a disgusting amount on it. My this girlfriend yells at me all the time. Do you have a girlfriend? It feels like I'm eating something that was prepared with love for me and you and you and all of you guys out there. Are you having a great time? It's Mosa, amazing, 10 out of 10. Stephen Lim, pretty fun. I feel like I'm starting to get drunk off pizza. Where did you get that pizza? Pizza fact! Did you know that in 2001, Pizza Hut delivered a pizza to the International Space Station? Can you imagine eating pizza in space? Then I'd be pissed off that they sent me Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut's good, what are you talking about? If you're sending it all the way to space, they could go ahead and send you the best pizza from Earth. What will it take for the next pizza to win out? Uh, uh, I don't know.
I'm the chef de cuisine of Spog of Beverly Hills. I will be making Italian white truffle pizza that's in season right now. What's so special is the truffles. Truffles are fungus and they grow under the ground. A pound of white truffle would go as high as $3,000. So a little wow. piece like this, about $100. We will be stretching this dough to about nine inch diameter. We'll put mozzarella on top of the dough. The dough will go in the pizza oven for about five minutes. We use real wood fired oven. This will get somewhat a uh, smoky aroma. Once it comes out, we're going to shave a lot of white truffle. Right? That's it. That's it. Three ingredients. As soon as you shave the white truffle on it, the aroma will just explode. It has its own distinct uh, aroma. You can't find it in anything else. This is $135 on the menu. Actually, a bargain. When we have a special ingredients like this, for us, it's not about making money. It's more of us showcasing the seasonality and sharing the beautiful ingredients with the guests. So we got some white wine as suggested by the chef. Wow, I already learned today that wine goes delightfully with pizza. Are you ready for this? I don't know if I'm ready. I'm a little apprehensive about eating a pizza that might never be surpassed again in my life. The most expensive pizza tip touch that's ever occurred. Here we go. That's an indescribable taste. <laughs> you already ate half the pizza. Yeah, I like pizza. It is the best pizza I've ever had in my entire life. If I ordered this and this dining room were full, other diners would be jealous. The plate would come by, they'd all be turning their heads. What's that smell? That smell is my dinner. It's a once in a lifetime experience. Finally, I've found a pizza that makes me slow down and enjoy each bite. We did it, we slowed Andrew down. I got us some candy corn for dessert because we're best friends now. <laughs> Ooh, which value was worth it the most? The $5 pizza was amazing, but it was a little too formulaic. I would go with Moza. They've really honed and perfected that craft. Spago was truly an out of body experience, but that wasn't a pizza. That was a truffle dish that happened to come on a pizza. I will also have to go with Pizzeria Mozza. That bra cheese was a game changer. Look, some of the world's mysteries have been brought to an end. That's kind of sad. It's like, I know that Santa Claus isn't real anymore. Uh. You want a piece of candy corn to cleanse your palate? Do not ruin that pizza with candy o corn. Open up, Absolutely. open up. <laughs> just, just give me one mouthful. <laughs> <laughs>